We basically started SISTA in 2016. The organization started with just myself, and now we have seven young women in this whole organization. So with the work that we do, we integrate a lot of learning, capacity building, and collective care in our work, and I truly believe the process is just as important as the outcome. A lot of our work, it challenges the underlying causes of violence, discrimination, and inequality um, through various ways, whether it's through advocacy, from using social media to generate discussions on gender equality or holding fashion shoots to celebrate culture and body positivity. The purpose of Sisters' existence is more so like an incubator space for young women to transition through their goals and careers, particularly in the humanitarian workforce. Most importantly, to enhance the women's movement in aligning that with the National Sustainable Development Goal to create a better society, a more developed society, a more peaceful society, and a better Vanuatu for us all. Hi, my name is Dawn. Um, I was one of the participants for the Strong Mama uh, group and workshop. It was a very safe space where single mothers who were on their own journeys could come together. It's sensitive for us because as women, we are emotional beings and we take that on the baggage, the burden, but also managing and coping with that. When you empower women, you also empower home. And when you empower home, you empower community. It's only when you know who you are, you'll be able to push yourself forward. Sister Get Style is a playful but also powerful platform where we celebrate all Nivanuatu women from all different walks of life and where they can be seen, they can be heard, and where they can also be celebrated. Through fashion, Sister has been able to generate discussions on self-care, gender norms, body positivity, and women's leadership while promoting ongoing visibility of strong, diverse women in our society. The fashion feature is published every month and is a collaboration between Sista and the Vanuatu Daily Post. Violence against women is one of the most widespread violations of human rights worldwide. The Pacific, including Vanuatu, has some of the highest rates of violence against women in the world. Change can happen through social protection laws, churches and organizations that offer change programs and through community and collective campaigns. But it can also happen through men working together as men. Our Rotlong Chenis campaign called on men to do just that, work together to stop the violence. My hope is for young women to be able to say, this is what I feel, this is what I think, and this is who I am.